So good morning and welcome to Havard's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> this is a first. Yeah. Oh. This is so weird recording that I can actually touch you both at the same time. Yeah, yeah. stop that. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're so modest. Uh, so day two at uh, Maker Central today. You looking yeah. forward to it? Yeah. Uh Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure uh, why you are so tired this morning. You were, be- you were in bed before anybody yesterday. Yeah, I, and two days in a row, I had 10 hours of sleep. But yeah, traveling with a six-year-old is not a recipe for uh, <laughs> being rested. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it was a great day yesterday. But yeah, we're trying to keep her in sight while speaking to people. That's uh, multitasking on a level I don't do every day. Uh, she was so good <laughs> oh, yesterday. Yeah. I mean, really so good. Um, yeah. I, would, I would say that to anyone with kids, just bring them. I mean, you get twice the amount of food. Uh, you get left in front of lines. And yeah, they're generally cute. So people like, oh, is that your kid? And then you have a, a way in of starting a conversation. It's brilliant. And then you don't stay up too late at the hotel bar either. Yeah, that's brilliant. I being uh, being an introvert and like, all right, sorry guys, I have to be an adult and we have to go. To the <laughs> <laughs> so that's why yeah. you brought. Her. And she's like, Dad, why are we leaving now? We're having so much fun. Oh, Daddy needs to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. After the event yesterday, we went to the uh, the free event at uh, the Weatherspoons nearby. Um, it got to the end of the event and people are coming up to me and saying, you're coming to the Hilton, you're coming to the Hilton. I said, yeah, yeah, I'll be there in a bit, knowing full well. <laughs> I'm just going to look cool, walk in that direction and then divert straight back to my hotel room. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I alone had to carry the banner for the podcast <laughs> in the hotel bar. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, this is your one time of the year to be social, KJ. Yeah, and I burn all my energy <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> I was going to take like three months to re- replenish that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, well, that's, that's just enough to uh, get into Scopper Festival then. So it's not, yeah, uh, yeah, and I burn that out as well. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, and this is, uh, for you all listening, this is the morning after we just had breakfast. And uh, I mean, it was the problem for you, I guess, but uh, the showers here at Premier Inn are not made for, for proper people. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, the fixed shower head is at nose height for me. And, I, and you can't tilt it a bit. So then I'm only like two inches taller than the, <laughs> than the shower head. So, yeah. Just to be clear, KJ says normal people. I'm six foot two <laughs> and I fit in the shower perfectly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, are you suggesting that I'm not normal sized? <laughs> Oh, that's well, this the rest of us that are of different size. I'm sorry, KJ. Yes, I yeah. apologize for that. <laughs> it, it's so fun. I mean, that's, it's been a topic uh, with my daughter two days in a row. Like yesterday, uh, she met KJ for the first time yeah. <laughs> in like real live person. And then when she <clears throat> got me on her own, like, he's tall. <laughs> and why does he wear rock clothing? I don't know. Maybe he just likes the aesthetics and. Does he play in a band? I don't think so. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's a direct question of yeah. the six-year-old. I like it. Uh, and then today as well, uh, we went out to breakfast and while well, KJ popped off to uh, fry some toast, he's like, oh, he's almost as tall as Maria's dad because we have a tall dad in the <laughs> kindergarten as well. So it's, uh, yeah, the tall stature is a topic. But it's not the showers only that's, a bit weird in the premier I was talking to someone yesterday and yeah um, that also came on friday and was having some drinks and then finished off the night by having a bath and people like you were kind of sloshed and you took a bath <laughs> that's a bit risky oh, i mean you can't drown in these bathtubs <laughs> even if you try because they are like it's handicapped bath with railings to hold on, and they are very shallow. So, like, <laughs> okay. you have to really work to get your uh, entire body into a soak. So, yeah. Your bath must be different to ours. Ours is actually bigger than the one we have at home. 
<laughs> oh yeah, like we have one of the smaller one. I think you can get like okay. 15 centimeters of water, uh, so wow. you have to you know, like dip with different body parts at a time. So yeah, <laughs> so you really have to work for it if you want yeah. to drown yourself. That was the conclusion yesterday. <laughs> I've never. I mean, I've been in a hotel before that has baths, but only in very very posh. You know, when you have a, a suite. Yeah. I've never been in a premier inn that has bathtubs. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's the family room. And I I didn't notice it, but going to breakfast today, my daughter said, Oh, I want one of those and she pointed at the door and like yeah, but we have a door in our room. But then I realized she's very fascinated of these peeking holes. Right. And uh on some of the doors they have two, one in normal height and one at knee height. Oh cool. Uh. And I just thought that is probably the family rooms then, because they yeah, have yeah. realized that kids like to use those. To yeah. on yeah, people. So, so they just put in an extra one at knee height. And I, I like that detail. That's <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are your plans for today then, fellas? A bit more, a bit more Maker Central. Yeah, same as yesterday. Mm. But yeah. you, you are at the Maker is Make. Help make, 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 yeah. <laughs> make, 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 yeah, make, make, all the making, all yeah. the making, making, yeah. <laughs> make with makers, as it actually was. Yes, I'm a, I'm a uh, hang around, the helper out. Uh, every uh, anything needs done person. Yeah. So I basically um, been fixing stuff and then greeting people and, and trying to nicely push people away who will be taking <laughs> taking too long. <laughs> and that sort of thing. Uh, so I'll probably be doing a lot of that today as well. And probably, or hopefully, we'll be more um, organized today than we was were yesterday, because it was a bit, um, yeah, make it up as you go along. <laughs> you were very busy yesterday, though, weren't you? Yeah, but I mean, I, I'm really bad at socializing, so I want to keep busy instead, because then I can chat with people in, on the go. Yeah. And as long as when you start, oh, now it's starting to feel awkward. Well, I have to go and do this thing, so <laughs> bye. <laughs> Me and Havard were asked a couple of times, why aren't you helping out? Because we didn't volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> because you're lazy bastards. Uh, when we were sat in the coffee shop having a coffee and a nice chat, and when we were in the pub and we were having a pint and a nice <laughs> chat, we thought, this is why we don't volunteer. <laughs> but then again, nobody asked, but if you're listening, don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> we all have a roles to fill in this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like, a, I mean, it's like a petting zoo. <laughs> Almost, we were just walking around. Oh, let's head back and see how KJ is doing. And oh, there he is. Look at him. He's talking to. Oh, they're making something in leather. And then, oh, then we had a second round, and we came back and ooh, glitter and sparkly bath bombs. <laughs> so, so I actually <laughs> tried that yesterday. So yeah. That uh, that bath bomb that your daughter made was fantastic. It was fifty percent glitter. <laughs> that is going to destroy whichever bath it goes in. <laughs> oh yeah, so I was kind of hoping you know, would use it here at the Premier Inn, but no, nope, we're bringing it home to show mom, and then uh, I'm going to have to do plumbing for <laughs> days at end. <laughs> yeah, I did actually look at that glitter, and this is not water soluble. So this is this is going to. Remain in our pipes until the next owner is going to do some renovation. Like, yeah. What were they doing? It's going, to, it's going to remain in your daughter for a week as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I already have glitter in my beard, I think. And... Well, you're a girl dad, has your t shirt says. So I yeah. literally you should. just walked past that stand yesterday and ended up with two pieces of glitter on my face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Didn't even go in. <laughs> oh, it was so I I was so scared yesterday because they had these small bottles with like pigment dye, to just yeah. color, and it's really potent stuff. Yeah. So it's like you have a big bowl of powder <laughs> and it's just one drop. And my daughter just oh, I want uh, the purple one, and she just like <laughs> started shaking it over her head, and I like there are like <laughs> hundred and fifty people packed around us. So if this top come off then everyone's gonna be purple for a year it's like no 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 it's trying to rain it in but yeah not without the cameras rolling yeah <laughs> this is content but yeah that's nice it's I mean, only content if someone is filming yeah 
that, that's also the nice thing with bringing a six-year-old you can get away with shit so I, I just gave her my bag of like stickers and like put it on whatever you want <laughs> <laughs> but no she's too nice so i actually didn't uh, get well, too many stickers out yesterday uh, she got a few prompts though didn't she to put them in places <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you filmed her doing it, so there was proof that she did it, and not you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> was, you mean the responsibility doesn't carry from the child to parents? Apparently not. <laughs> yeah. And that was brilliant. I uh, I went past the Colin Firth's booth yesterday, and uh, I mean, right before closing time, it was getting kind of uh, the queue was not as big, and one guy was sitting in his uh, amphibious vehicle, and like. I would like to do that, but yeah, some people were giving the guy some of looks, but he was also uh, not sober, <laughs> to say the <laughs> least. So, all right, maybe I'm, I shouldn't sit in it, but a six-year-old should be fine. So I just yeah. plumped him in there and took some photos. And, yeah, you can really get away with it. So I got some nice photos there yesterday. Nice. Yeah, we, we got a photo of each other in the tunnel as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the we tunnel where you, where you hit your head. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, we should have carried a photo of you around with us to get you in on the shots, I think. Yeah, after, after seeing the, the Welsh Thomas stunt. But that was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get back to that, but we have to talk about Colin versus Tunnel because you have a small section where you can have your photo taken. But if I understand, colleagues, that's a one-to-one. -one. and it like so. cross-section, yeah. Right. And I, I went in there and yeah. I bumped my head, and I'm not a tall person, but when you see him in his videos, he's like, he's like loads yeah. of spades over his head, and he's wielding tools yeah. around, and I'm standing in there, and this is really tight, and so he must be really small, and I've seen a lot of other YouTubers yesterday as well, and <laughs> I mean, yeah. I think we are in a higher spectrum of uh, <laughs> the height, so we are maybe... Uh, not to like YouTube it. material when it comes to yeah. uh, you, you don't, you don't fit with, the mold. You came up with a new channel name, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, but I can't remember. <laughs> Too tall for YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> for YouTube <yeah>. <laughs> well, it was uh, interesting when we were talking to Alice Pagnola yesterday. She was not the biggest of persons when no. it comes to height. Biggest personality, though. Yes, yeah. she, she had more personality yeah. than the three of us combined. But yeah. in mass, there's a lot of her. Yeah, that was a was. slightly surreal experience walking up to the bar with Ali and she's saying, what are you having then? I said, oh, I'm having a, a pint of ale. She said, what do you recommend? And we both had a pint of Doom Bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, very yeah. surreal. I, I think I mentioned it in a previous episode. I, I seldom get starstruck until I got into the uh, maker community and yeah, I, ju I just needed to find my people to get starstruck. And of course, when we arrived to the venue yesterday, I couldn't find my ticket and I've had some issue with my email. So I lost all my emails before March. And of course I bought the tickets in February. So well, crap, I need to shell out and buy new tickets. Um, I went to the ticket booth, of course, pushing my daughter before me, like, um, we lost our tickets. It's uh, ah, you just go to the, the functionary's office and they will sort you out because they have all the names. So we just went to a small room uh, in the wall and this lovely lady helped us out. Yeah, we, we found your names. Here's your ticket and here's your maker badge and everything. And then I just turned around and the entire YouTube is standing <laughs> behind me. It was uh, Sila Foxlin. You had Colin first, I think, <laughs> yeah. was there. And Ali Spagnola. It's like all the people you want to meet. And it was just <laughs> like smack in your face. And I just got so perplexed. And, just, and I, they were, of course, waiting in the same lines to get their tickets and badges sorted out. So it's it's not the cramp the roof to like strike up a conversation, but yeah, that's a real like whoa. <laughs> it, it felt like a real honor walking there uh, Maker Central yesterday with the uh, badge on. Yeah. So, move uh, out of my way. Maker coming through. Make it coming yeah. through. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a badge do you know? Yeah. And then when someone's just like, oh mate who's that? Never heard of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Me neither, mate. Yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll talk about your fan experience in the main episode. I think of our... yeah, I, I think we'll go into a deeper depth there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Save some for that. So maybe that's it then. I mean, 
a lot of things happen. I mean, don't want to spoil it too yeah, much. No. So, yeah. So, just a little taster for next Saturday's episode. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to, got to process everything. But uh, how do you feel on a scale from 1 to 10? Are you coming next year? Uh, I mean, <laughs> you, you have to leave room for, uh, I mean, better and more experiences. I would say eight. And yes, I'm planning to yeah. come next year. I'm, well. I'm a little bit on the fence. I mean, it's so far for me to travel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, I mean, hour and 20 minutes by car. That's, yeah. 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 Next year, I'm coming and staying over at your place and dra- dragging you with me on the Friday. You are absolutely more than welcome, KJ. <laughs> Yeah, and I think when I saw, saw like Colin Furs and the Hacksmith and everything and people just lining up, so I'm thinking maybe you should do a stand for uh, for the podcast and then we can have like a meet and greet lineup and that would be brilliant. So our, our two uh, two listeners can stand there. And, yeah, we can have uh, Chloe and uh, if Tim comes, he should then be standing there as well. Yeah, 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 we can... That's a brilliant idea. We, we can do it as a dual uh, podcasting, can't we? We've yeah, we can, as well. Yeah, with yeah. all the previous guests yeah. are invited, and yeah. we can do a, make something out of that. That would be brilliant. <laughs> so we have a plan. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I've seen at least five listeners of us of ours. Yeah. So yeah. there's more listeners than hosts on the show. <laughs> so I mean, that's a, that's a win in my book. Yeah, that's the first mile marker. Check, and they're not family or related. Yeah, exactly. No <laughs> blood relations. Um, yeah. So that's. Definitely win. Let's end it there before we start sounding too desperate. (laughs) (laughs) Too late. Bye. 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 Bye.